Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. August 21st, feeling like September today for most of you. Um, and this is all courtesy of uh, the squeeze play between this upper level low, this big trough, which you can clearly see here on this satellite image just spinning around. Uh, but right off the bat, before I even get started, I just want to make another apology to Joe Chaffee. I know I've been a little criticizing him a little bit here on this channel and making some posts uh, just because I feel like he's been understating climate change. Um, but I, I maybe I went a little too far last night. Sorry about that. You know, had a very bad day, and obviously it's not an excuse. I'm just going to say I'm sorry to Joe Chaffee uh, about that. Uh, you know, I still follow him. I still advise you to follow him. Uh, he's had thir he's, you're going to get a much more detailed weather report from him than you'll get from what you see on TV. So, again, he's been in the business of meteorology forecasting for over 30 years. So he knows what he's talking about, even if I don't necessarily agree with all of his opinions on stuff. I uh, just got set off by the whole, he made it, brought up the Tonga thing again, and I mean, can't blame everything on the Tonga thing. Uh, it was just, you know, kind of disproven that Tonga warmed the planet, but whatever. I do want to say I'm sorry. So let's get to talk about the weather today. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, first start, I guess, with the lows this morning. Uh, they had a nice little graphic. We'll see if I can find it here. Uh, here are the lows this morning uh, that we had. Uh, and nice, cool 50s. In a lot of places, uh, in 40s, in the Pine Barrens as well. However, my alley didn't get that cool at all. So my alley only got down to around 63 degrees. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we're dealing with because I live in a in a hot hell basically. So um, let's go to the uh, satellite image from this morning because I want to show you something interesting here. So this is a satellite image from this morning, and we actually had some smoke around this morning. There was a little bit of a haze in the air. Um, you could see the clear air kind of wrapped around. This is actually a kind of a cool-looking satellite image. You could see the smoke and then um, the clear air. This, the haze kind of diminished by the afternoon, especially over western parts of Long Island. Uh, but we did have a lot of uh, cumulus pop-ups. So, so uh, let's uh, go and look at our satellite image. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So you could see this is toward the evening, so you could see the sun just fading there. Uh, but if we go back a little earlier to the 120 here we're gonna have to go to the longer uh one. we're just going to take a little bit of t little bit of time to load you'll see that we did have plenty of cloud cover develop uh this afternoon um as expected you could see plenty of it here plenty of stratocumulus and there were even a couple of showers uh that uh, affected parts of uh we didn't get it i don't think we got any here on long island but uh, new york city did report a shower uh very very interesting uh for sure and you can see again this big up a low here really kind of shows uh, but the good news is I don't see too much smoke uh, right now. Um, uh, we'll come back to satellite later. I probably shouldn't have closed that. Uh, let's look at our current conditions. Um, so uh, outside right now, yeah, temperatures are in the mid-60s. 64 at Ronkonkoma. Um, so everybody's pretty much got, and West Hampton's already down at 54. They're going to get down to the 40s again. Um, and let's see how Jersey's doing. 57 in uh, the Pine Barrens west of Tom's River and 59 in Tom's River itself. Um, so uh, interesting, the warmest spots seem to be right along the water where it's still 69 at Fire Island National's East Shore. Interesting. And 67 at Montauk. I find it hard to believe that it's 67 at Montauk. I think there's something wrong with their station or something. But, of course, right now in the alley... Yeah, it's still, uh, what do we got? Still 60, uh, almost 70 degrees still in the alley. So the alley is even warmer than LaGuardia right now. Yep. So uh, 65 at Central Park. Um, so, um, yeah, very, very warm in that alley. Just holds in all the heat. What can I tell you? So the alley is about, let's see, 67 at Hofstra. So the alley is a couple degrees warmer than the official station at uh, Hofstra. I guess not as cool as... I don't know, it felt cool until I got to my neighborhood. I was coming home uh, tonight, and uh, unfortunately, I didn't go to the Pine Barrens today because of what happened. I didn't have the energy. Uh, but I did take a nice little walk at uh, Hempstead Lake State Park and uh, as the sun was setting, and that was very nice. Very cool there. Very nice. Showing you some of the pictures. Just the sun had already set pretty much. It already had gone down. Uh, but... Beautiful, nonetheless. Nice nice place to take a walk. And luckily there, I don't have to worry about getting stranded. Uh, so uh, let's look at our highs for the day. And you can see the t highs 
mid 70s for you. Only 73 at Islip, um, 74 at West Hampton, 71. Only low 70s on the East End. And again, those clouds actually helped keep the temperatures down. Of course, there was a little more sun in Nassau County, and that's why Nassau County got higher into the mid upper 70s. 75 at LaGuardia, only 72 at Central Park. Uh, let's see how New Jersey did today for highs. Uh, if the yeah, only mid 70s, so nice and cool for the day. Lows, yeah, 51 for a low in the Pine Barrens west of Tom's River. 46 being reported at near Bass River State Forest. I see some 40s too. Uh, as far as the city goes, they were in the mid to upper 50s and for Long Island. Let's see, we've got uh, a low of 54 at Islip, 46 at West Hampton. Uh, so I showed you the map before, but we're looking at this as well to show you again how cool it got, especially if you were in the Pine Barrens. It really got cool. Um, but for those of us here in <laughs> Furnace Heights, uh, it really didn't cool off that much. Still got a run that air conditioner unfortunately you can hear the air conditioners going uh because it's just this place is just so freaking hot so um yeah <laughs> i'm gonna call it furnace heights because that's that's exactly what it is so let's go over our weather statistics today at islip unfortunately there's some kind of issue with the web page but i kind of found a way around it so uh islip reported a high of 74 a low of 54 seven degrees below normal on the high 12 degrees below normal on the low and that puts us 9 degrees below normal for the day at Islip, which, again, is pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. Um, so, actually, I can get the New York City one, too. We're going to have to do it this way. Um, and New York City at a high of 73 and a low of 57. 11 degrees below normal for the day. So, very unusually cool uh, weather that we're having for August. And, again, if you were, um, most everybody can turn off the air conditioner unless you're living where I'm living, basically. Or in the middle, or in a similar situation, you, you know, you're not going to need the air conditioner at night. Even during the day, it was pretty comfortable. Uh, just showing what the day was like at Islip. So 64 dew point is now down to 48. Still have that west northwest wind. Uh, so we're not going to see any, not seeing any radiational cooling yet. But I'm sure the winds will drop, and we will later on. Uh, but during the day, you can see we were mainly only in the 70s. Uh, clouds being reported for a good part of the day, uh, but uh, you know, partly sunny skies. But only 70s, which, again, very, very, very cool uh, conditions for the day. Uh, very cool air mass. That's part of the reason why we saw all those cumulus pop up. So uh, if we go to the MODIS satellite here, you'll see what I mean. This is the morning, and it was fairly clear in the morning. There weren't too many cumulus, but then as the day went on, we started seeing a lot of pop-up cumulus around, uh, depending on where you were. Um, uh, but no worse than partly sunny. Maybe at times mostly cloudy. It looked like there were a few more over Jersey. These bigger clouds here, these are where some of the showers were. Um, and again, some of them moved over the city, actually, to just a very light shower being reported. There was some heavier activity to the north uh, panning out on this satellite imagery. And uh, you can see this big upper-level low here that's bringing down the cool air all the way. This cool air is coming all the way from, all the way up here. So if I draw this out, change the color to blue, Cool air is coming all the way down from the Arctic. It's really uh, getting wrapped around down this uh, system right here uh, and bringing some nice cool air. And Yeah, a little bit of smoke over here on the periphery, but uh, other than that, um, really nice, cool, cool air that we are experiencing out there. Uh, and we'll go now to the other satellite imagery, so we'll go and look at the CONUS view. So here's, again, here's your big low, uh, low uh, upper level low there. If you're upstate, unfortunately, uh, you're dealing with clouds and showers uh, up there. But for, the, for us, luckily, we've been no worse than partly sunny for the most part. Um, and you can see, again, a little bit of that smoke kind of wrapping around the system, mainly being forced to the south and the west. Uh, and we'll go and look at the Canada northern U.S. view now. And it looks like we have uh, some uh, thunderstorms, actually. Look, these look like thunderstorms over here developing over uh, some of these Canadian provinces here. If we can load this up. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to look at the lightning intensity. But you can see there's, there's fires are still going. I still see the smoke from them uh, over here. Just have a lot of high cloud cover. Uh, so, And you can still see some smoke over here. So eventually, we'll probably eventually get back into this smoke. But right now, it's... 
I, you know what? I could swear I still smell a little smoke in the air tonight. I don't know if you do, but um, it still seems like there's some in the air. Uh, just because there's just so much smoke around and the whole continent from all these fires wouldn't be a surprise. So I just want to look at lightning and see if there are these are thunderstorms that have popped up over here because they sure do look like it. Yeah, I do see lightning. So this is not a good situation because if we do, if there's dry weather that follows these thunderstorms, these could start more fires, unfortunately. And I see a lot of thunderstorm activity over here, which is not good at all. Um, so um, let's go and look at the know why we're being slow here but let's go and look at the weather prediction center here WPC and you can see there's that low pressure area uh, high pressure pretty much in control for us tomorrow that stays that way even into even into Friday uh, the weekend right now looks pretty good uh, for us no, no real major concerns here as far as uh, rainfall goes so we're giving everybody a chance to just dry out after all that and I have to make a video about the damage that those floods did because they did cause a lot of damage and that'll be in a separate a separate video uh, to this one so anyway uh let's go and look at the models here high pressure obviously in control there's our little low there though so we move this along here you can see uh that low slowly starts drifting a little more to the northeast tomorrow so i think we'll have some more sun tomorrow uh and then friday the high crests over us so that's probably the day we're gonna have the most sunshine uh and then that high still kind of stays over us through the weekend it starts slowly drifting off by sunday and that'll bring in more warmth and humidity as it does so as we go on the flip side of that uh so let's look at the h triple r model first through tomorrow here and um you'll see i don't think we're going to see the extent of those sprinkles so i don't think we're going to see that at all tomorrow so uh maybe that's just that's going to be i don't i don't think it's going to be an issue and really uh, those are just brief showers but in some areas they were heavy um, and then Friday, uh, we're not going to see any of that activity so uh, at all, uh, even come close to the area. Uh, I do want to look at some soundings, though, to start for tomorrow. So uh, we're going to start with 16Z, and we'll uh, place our sounding over Suffolk County. Uh, and just to look at the uh, what the sky is going to be like. You see these two lines here. A little close, not too close. Uh, I'll move this over to New Jersey. Um... They're a little closer in New Jersey, so the closer these lines are and the more they touch, the more likely we're going to see cumulus or stratocumulus development. Now, when we go over to 18Z, that's when things change a little more, and these lines come a little little closer in Jersey. Um, for Long Island, a little further apart. It's really They're a little close together, but they're not quite touching. Um, I think it's as we get toward later in the afternoon, that's when we'll start seeing them come closer to touching. Well, not quite yet. See, maybe they come touching over. No, not quite yet. So HRRR seems to think they will be further away, but there probably will be a few clouds developing in the afternoon and tomorrow, but not to the extent that we saw it today, probably. Um, so let's look at our uh, dew points and wind flow on this. And uh, the wind should become light tonight. And then tomorrow uh, we see, uh, again, the winds kind of west-northwest, pretty decent breeze out there, fairly low dew points. Looks like the dew points might be sad lower over Jersey, but... Fairly low dew points. Um, and then as we get into it, for whatever reason, it shows the dew points going up a little bit on Long Island tomorrow night. This is what the HRRR is doing. Maybe it's trying to generate a little bit of a sea breeze. I don't know if I'm really buying that. But, again, we are surrounded by water, so I guess that would mean that the dew points would be higher on Long Island perhaps than Jersey. But still comfortable dew points. You know, it'll either be up mid to upper four, you know, ranging from the upper 40s to the low 50s generally other dew points uh and then for friday uh we see again uh those dew low dew points stay in play uh again winds becoming uh west in the afternoon and friday is the day that we might see friday night might start seeing that sea breeze develop which would increase the humidity levels uh on long island especially so uh let's go ahead and look at our temperatures overnight well, all of us are getting down to the 50s it's pretty much gonna be a repeat of last night 40s in the Pine Barrens, and if you're in Furnace Heights, like where I live, well, lows probably won't get below 61 or 62 degrees. Uh, and then maybe I could turn the air conditioner off. Maybe. I'm hoping. Uh, uh, Mid-70s uh, for tomorrow. Again, similar temperatures to today. Maybe just a little bit warmer. A couple degrees warmer. Maybe like uh, 
77 at Islip instead of 73 because we'll ha should have some more sunshine. Um, and then tomorrow night, again, it will be cool again. Uh, lows in the probably mid-50s, and if there's radiational cooling, could be cooler than that. Uh, again, if you're not in Furnace Heights. Uh, and then for uh, Friday, uh, we're seeing temperatures a little bit warmer, maybe more like upper 70s, maybe low 80s in New Jersey, uh, but still fairly comfortable. Uh, let's go to, to the GFS. We'll take you into the weekend now. I'm just going to see if the GFS has any differences here in this. Uh, the temperatures. Don't look, don't, don't see that. Dew points now. They stay fairly low. As you get to the weekend, we're still dew points still stay fairly comfortable on Saturday. Uh, maybe we start seeing dew points rise in the mid to upper 50s. Uh, it is Sunday, though. However, we'll start seeing a little more of an increase in the humidity. Where dew points get into the maybe low, low to maybe middle 60s in certain areas. But still, nothing terrible. Uh, nothing terrible. Um, stays comfortable. This is a nice, comfortable stretch after uh, what has been a miserably humid summer. That's the way the summers have been. But this is a nice break from it. We had to pay with all that rain, but anyway, uh, here's the GFS. We're trending a little bit warmer for Friday. Friday will be warmer than Thursday. Saturday, still warmer. Probably most sites will see 80 or better. Uh, and then Sunday, uh, we warm up still more. Probably mid-80s, low to mid-80s on Long Island, maybe close to 90 in New Jersey. So let's go ahead and look at the skies next. And here we go on the skies. So uh, for tomorrow, you can see. Actually, does show a little bit of cloud cover in the morning. Oddly enough, it's just what kind of cloud? What, what level is that at? Yeah, it's showing some again. That could be strato cumulus, perhaps. Uh, by uh, the afternoon, showing a little bit less of it, maybe. Um, and then uh, for Friday, Friday's your day where you're going to be, I think, mostly sunny. There'll be no clouds at all, barely any clouds. Then for Saturday, we'll start seeing more of these higher cloud level clouds come in but it, again it'll be no worse than partly sunny it'll be a fairly uh there's not going to be any precipitation here if we go ahead and look at our radar you'll see i think we're dry right through the weekend pretty much yep pretty much yep so uh that's the good news with that uh let's go back to the skies and we'll look at the rgm model so here's the rgm model and uh for Tomorrow, it looks like we are mostly sunny, and it does show some cumul again, some cumulus develop, perhaps forming over New Jersey earlier on, less on Long Island, just because New Jersey, for whatever reason, just gets warmer, and there's just more of a convective temps being reached or whatever. They always tend to see more of that stratocumulus than we do, uh, stratocumulus and cumulus. Um, and then for Friday, uh, Friday will be uh, mostly sunny. Uh, there shouldn't be, be a lot, probably hardly any stratocumulus at all. So that's what it looks like right now. Uh, we'll run this through the weekend, and you'll see Saturday. You can definitely see the look that higher level clouds, but still not a bad day at all. Uh, so let's go to the RAP smoke model here, um, and we'll uh, I think the 21Z is the longer one, so we'll do the vertically integrated smoke. And I don't think we're gonna. Oh really? Here we go again. Let me just try this in that incognito. Ugh. Server is unavailable. Are you kidding me? I guess they're all like that. Here we go again. Them and their servers. Let me guess. HRRR is also down. So I guess we're not going to have a smoke model to look at. This is absolutely pathetic. Uh, Noah, or whoever is... Noah. Yeah, Noah. You need to fix your damn servers. Yeah. Server is unavailable. So unfortunately, I can't bring you the smoke models tonight. Sorry about that. Because, of course, they say research purposes... Only, and there's no guarantee this data will be updated, even though it, there should be a guarantee, Noah. But, hey, this is uh, this is what we have here. Uh, so, right now, it doesn't look like we're going to deal with any of the smoke. I'll, uh, hopefully, by tomorrow night, we'll have some smoke models to look at. Uh, but tomorrow night's weather update will be a little bit brief, more brief uh, than tonight. Uh, so, tomorrow night, I'll usually just cover Thursday and Friday, probably. Or, actually, just cover Friday. Uh, so, uh, anyway, get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather that we have, uh, and have a good night.